If you want to attend F1 Las Vegas, now is the time to make your plans. We'll be discussing ticket options, entertainment, and special events. So buckle up and let's go racing this week in gambling. The Las Vegas Grand Prix is now just over two months away. However, now is the time to get things in gear, so to speak, because when it comes to enjoying the race, it all comes down to location. Yes, if you want to see the race, then you gotta get your tickets, and what you pay depends on where you sit or stand and what you want most out of your race experience. Whether it's reserved seating, free food and drinks, entertainment, or high-end luxury, general admission prices start at just $150 for a one-day pass in the Flamingo Zone to more than $1,300 for a three-day Heineken general admission plus ticket with bleacher seating and free drinks. If you prefer the grandstands, Three-day tickets start at $1,500 for West Harmon, $1,800 for the T-Mobile Zone at the Sphere, and over $2,700 for the Heineken Silver Main Section on East Harmon with complimentary food, soft drinks, and entertainment. High rollers may want to consider the hospitality package from Hilton Grand Vacations with three-day tickets that include premium food and alcohol for $3,500, while both the Red Bull Energy and the Bellagio Fountain Club will have catered meals, celebrity chefs, and open bars starting at a mere $12,000. In addition to the complimentary food and drinks, you may want to consider your entertainment options as well. And several acts will be performing over the F1 weekend, starting with the T-Mobile Zone at Spear Las Vegas, which will feature shows from One Republic, Ludacris, and many more. Your T-Mobile grandstand and general admission tickets will get you access to those performances. And at the East Harmon Zone by Virgin Resort, you can catch acts like Big Boy, Snake Hips, and others. See these performances with your Skybox, Champions Club, and Turn 3 tickets, as well as the Heineken Silver Main Grandstand tickets and more. So at this point, if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the choices, F1 has a tool that will help you decide which tickets along the race course work best for what you want. It comes in the form of a flow chart that walks you through the process. The what type of F1 fan are you quiz can narrow down which tickets are best based on your personal preferences, whether you favor entertainment, luxury suites, or just watching the race, their chart can help you identify what matters most and steer you to the best location. We've linked to this chart in the description of this video with clickable links to purchase tickets. And no, we do not get paid any commissions for referrals. Now, once you have your F1 tickets in hand, you may want to consider some of the special events taking place in Las Vegas both day and night during the big F1 weekend. But before we get to those, our friends at Casino City are covering all the gambling headlines this week, including partnerships with NFL teams, updates on the Circa Survivor Contest, and big online slot wins. Plus, they always have updates on what else was making news in Las Vegas. Simply follow the link in the description to online.casinocity.com. And while you're in Las Vegas for the big F1 weekend, there will be several other activities taking place to keep you occupied while the race isn't running. During the day, you can head down to the F1 Fan Experience on Friday and Saturday, November 22nd and 23rd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. across from Wynn Las Vegas, and admission is free. For you diehard fans, check out the other race happening on the same weekend and the same race course, 
The Ferrari Challenge will run November 21st to the 23rd, and admission is free with your F1 ticket. When night falls, you can catch live entertainment from Caesars Palace to the Venetian and more. The F1 race weekend is filled with performances like Steve Aoki and Fisher at MGM Grand, and from John Summit to Calvin Harris at Fontainebleau. There are so many acts all up and down the strip that we've linked to that information in the descriptive area of this video. So that's a wrap. If you're headed to Las Vegas for the race, let me encourage you to help support the local shops. All the road closures and barricades tend to hurt their business, and F1 doesn't seem to give a shit. Also, remember not to stop and watch the race from any pedestrian bridges. The thugs they hire to work security that weekend just love to abuse their authority and show you how big of an asshole they can be. Finish him!